Hello and welcome to NJSharpen.com YouTube channel. I am Vijay, a Microsoft MVP and in this video I am going to explain you how you can work with SharePoint Online Modern Experience. What are the benefits of SharePoint Online Modern Experience or the modern UI which we said. So here I will explain you uh, various things on modern experience, how it looks, how what is basically the modern experience means. So if you will see in the modern experience when you will tell that uh, it is consist of the modern team site, modern list and library experience and modern site pages. Remember this is the, this version is available only on SharePoint online but now in the SharePoint 2019 version you will be able to get this uh, this uh, new features also. Previously it was there with only on SharePoint online from long time. So if you are using Office 365 then this is the beauty of Office 365 is that you will get new features day by day. So as a Office 365 customers, you must have been see this thing before. And what is the advantages of using uh, your modern uh, team sites or modern uh, modern UI is that modern UI is uh, responsive. It is by design, it is responsive. So you will be able to see your uh, you know team site in a laptop, desktop, or any anywhere. And uh, it contains native news, quick links and activity capabilities which looks really great in your team site on the home page. And it has modern list and libraries which has very lot of useful features and you can the modern experience of the list and the classic experience of list and document libraries are really really different and you will have Microsoft Flow and Power Apps integration from the modern team, uh, modern list and libraries. And also you will see there is a new enhanced site content page where the site content page is different from the um, from the classic SharePoint site. So these are the things that you can you, you will see some of the advantages but when I will show you in the demo uh, when I will create the team site you will be able to see a lot of other things as well. So these are the uh, what then what are the things are not possible in the modern UI? So if you are trying to roll out your modern experience in the SharePoint online environment or Office 365 environment, then you should think on these things that what are the things that are not possible here in the modern experience. So first of all, you will not be able to create custom master pages for that or the page layouts that we usually typically use in the SharePoint, uh, classic SharePoint sites. And no script injection, you will not be able to use script editor web part. In fact, the script editor web part is not available now in the modern uh, SharePoint sites. You will not get that script editor web part. So you will not be able to inject script editor uh, scripts or JavaScript, script, uh, JavaScript or HTML into the pages which you usually very popular in the classic SharePoint sites and there is no designer you cannot customize the modern site home page using a SharePoint designer and also InfoPath is not fully supported meaning InfoPath list will, will work but the uh, InfoPath form library forms will not uh, will not open in that thing so I'll show you a classic uh, SharePoint site so if I'll open this this is a classic SharePoint site and in this this is the look and feel how your uh, classic SharePoint uh, site usually looks and if you'll ask me can I convert a SharePoint classic site to a new look can I give a new look yes you can give you can create a uh, you can create a modern uh, site page and you can set that on home page i'll i'll put that uh, that link in the comment box or in the description field of this video you will get that useful links over there by this time i hope you will have a, already have an office 365 tenant if you don't have i'll send you a, a article where you can sign uh, sign up as a developer subscription where you will get one year free trial on office 365 enterprise e3 or whatever the functionality are there you will be available or you can also sign up for an one month trial for office 365 enterprise e3 licenses and uh, e5 licenses as well you can do that now to create a modern uh, first of all i'll show you how we can create a modern team site so i'll go to the admin center so now if you will see here i'll click on the app launcher then I'll go to admin so I'm opening in a new tab so if you'll see here this is my uh, this is the admin center is opening for office 365 and uh, then what you can do is from down you can go to the SharePoint admin center so if you'll see here I'll click on this this is the SharePoint admin center 
and now the SharePoint admin center is opening. Once the SharePoint admin center will open, you will have the option to create the new team site. So here two options are there. As I said, you know, Office 365, you will, get, you will always get some of the new things on that. So if you'll see here, I'll click on the new and then I'll say new private site collection. And in this private site, site collection, this is the old uh, EY for creating a site where you will be coming up with the templates. You can see here, uh, team site classic experience is there and you will be able to create this way in, in uh, the team site classic experience site, classic sites. But here we are not going to create, uh, we are going to create a new uh, modern sites. So you can see here, try now is there. You can click on that and you will be able to see a new announced modern um, different look and feel of our uh, your admin center sharepoint admin center uh, so here you will see a lot of things so i'll go to active sites so you can see here in the active sites this is the active sites here I, it will show me all the active sites what are available over there and you can see here a create button is there if i'll clear click on create button then it will show me two most popular SharePoint site template one thing is the team site another one is the communication site so oh sorry so you can you will be able to create from any one of that one so let me just create a team site so if you'll see here it is asking me to uh, give a team site name and automatically it will take the group name as well so if you know if you don't if you're new to office 365 groups uh, then I'll share one link where you can go through the link about office 365 groups so i'll give a um, i'll give a name for my new team site so i'll say ts info modern site and you can see here it is creating a group name email address on that on that the same name of the site and you can uh, see here this is it is this is showing the site address as well i can put a group owner so i'll give my name over here so i'll put uh, my name and i'll choose the language as english so you can put also multiple uh, names over there group owners and uh, so you can see here this is the address is available so i'll click on next one I, once i click on next it is showing me that what the additional owners you want to put so i'll say let's say i'll give uh, bhavna one of the additional user owners and i want to add more people into that so i'll add a couple of members from that so Preeti and lakshmi i will add and you'll be able to see that this these two users will having access to the team site as well, modern team site. Click on finish. So if you'll see here, now it is creating our team site, new team site. And uh, in a second, it will create that. So if you'll see here somewhere, the, the site will be there. And uh, the good thing over here in this uh, modern uh, admin center is that you will be able to see a lot of valuable information in the in the active sites template. Uh, one thing you can see here is the template that it is using. You can see here it is showing uh, showing us that these are the sites which are using classic experience, and this is this is nothing is mentioned here. It is a team new site experience. So same way you will be able to see some other templates over there. So I will search for that TS info modern site you can see here the last one TS info modern site so if you'll select that if you'll select that in the right side you'll be able to see the properties over there so in the right side uh, see this is the URL so I'll click on that and it will open the modern site URL now this is our modern site um, this is how it looks you can see here how it is uh, um, uh, looks very nice so this you can see here this is a new to a part hero a part um, you can add news you can see activities uh, you can see quick long uh, quick links and in the down you can see here comments also over here and you can click on edit and you will be able to edit here you can see here you can edit here you can if i'll click on this add you'll be able to add various web part into that you can see here test web part link web part embedded all these things uh, you will be able to add uh, i'm not adding those things now uh, we'll uh, we'll show this thing in a, in another videos in different videos in different videos how we can add all these web parts so this this way this is how the home page looks like now if i'll go to the site content page you can from the left side i'll click on the site content page 
and here you'll be able to see this is how the site, new site content page looks and if I'll show you the existing site this is my old site content and this is how you can uh, create it you can see here this is again the new look and feel let me just go back to the classic site so you can see here down it is showing uh, return to classic so I'll click on that it will go to the classic mode now if you will see here this is the classic site where this is my site content looks like and this is the new site content what, what, whatever it is looks like now what I'll do is I'll create one more list and libraries so you'll be able to see the difference between a list and libraries how it is so I'll click on add an app and I'll add one list custom list or any kind of list I can add so let's say cause task list I'll add it so I'll say demo task list I'll click on create now once I click on create you'll be able to see here this is the site is appearing and you can see here it is also taking the old experience why there is a reason behind that so you can go to the list list settings and if you'll go here there is an advanced setting option is there click on the advanced settings and here you choose the new experience if you will choose the new experience it will take if you will choose the exist uh, I mean classic experience you will be able to see every time the classic experience even if it is a new team site you can also see the classic experience so all depends on whatever the settings has been done so let me just tell you that let's say your organization is not yet ready to go to the new experience what you can do is you can organization level you can disable it so how you can do that is I'll go to the SERP point uh, let's go back to the um, classic admin center so if you'll see here this is the classic admin center so here there is a settings is there I'll click on that settings let it just open the settings page Yeah, you can see here this is the settings page and there is an option SharePoint list and library experience you can see here two, two options are there classic experience and new experience if you really don't want to use the new experience you can disable it but once you will enable it in a, any list and library you can go to the advanced settings and there also you can disable or enable it so if I'll choose enable let's say new experience this option in the advanced settings for the list every time I'll, I'll open this list it will open the let me just refresh once again let's go back to the list once again it should oh sorry there is a catch on that this task list and some other list is not yet enabled for SharePoint modern site so let me just uh, tell you that let's create one more uh, list so this time I'll choose the custom list remember this task list is not yet uh, uh, created for that it's not uh, modern enabled now till now so what I'll do is I'll create a custom list let's say I'll say demo list I forget that and I created using the task list template but now if I'll go to the demo list you'll be able to see here I'll say exit classic experience and you'll be able to see here that the demo list is coming as a new uh, new version so and anytime you can go to the um, uh, go to the um, list settings and you can change that if you want to move to classic uh, experience of the list here there are a lot of new features are there will coming up uh, with other videos but let me just quickly tell you how we can how the new document library looks uh, before that let's say this is a list right you can see here that there is no ribbon nothing is there you will have a, a command bar like this so now let's go to the uh, add an app and this time I'll create a document library so I'll say document library and I will choose demo library I'll click on create and you'll be able to see here it will create a document library so this is the demo library I'll click on that and it should open the 
new form you can see here this is the new look and feel of the document library and you can see here how it looks different if i'll compare it to a uh, existing um, uh, classic um, document library you can see here how it is looking again it is again let's go back to the classic experience and i'll compare and show to you so you can see here this is the classic you will have a ribbon uh, files uh, library tab and this is the look and feel but here if you will see here this is how your library looks like so this is how you can um, uh, you can work with you can start with uh, SharePoint online modern experience in upcoming videos I'll show you how what are the various features on the new list and library how you can customize pages those things will will discuss but for this video this was this is the thing that i wanted to show you you can control at the central level in the admin center for your organization entirely for your tenant if you want to disable you can disable that if you want to enable you can enable and every list and library also individually you will be able to um able to convert it to classic or you can use the new modern experience as well so hopefully you like this video if you really like the video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, have a good day.